Yeah, sorry. Guys, hey. you're here at Comics Online. I'm here with the stars of Dollhouse. If you guys would like to introduce yourself and tell your character. Um, uh, Fran Kranz. I play Topher. And my name's Deacon Lackman, and I play Sierra. So, season one uh, DVD set is coming out shortly. And yeah, I saw it. I guess it's already on sale. Special edition Comic Con yeah. set. You guys well, what's my uh, yeah. buddy found one in China. In China? <laughs> oh, yeah. Are you, are you guys looking forward to the season two upcoming uh, season? Yeah. Yeah, we yeah. just started. We just started. Up. Yeah, I was working yesterday on it. Is the tone pretty much similar to what we've seen in season one, or is it? Seems a little darker. A little darker. Yeah, it seems a little bit darker. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw episode thirteen, right? Are you, are you going to? Going to. Yeah, right. Well, that sort of uh, sort of takes it to another level in uh, sort of season two, even though I don't know uh, episode thirteen is not going to be released. Season two sort of starts off. Uh, in a little bit in that world, so it sort of uh, it's, it takes a it takes a turn, and there's some scenes in the future with uh, Felicia Day, Zach Ward, and a little bit of season two has some of those scenes that take place I think like 16 years in the future, uh, and then back and forth it cuts back and forth in flashbacks, and it's definitely a, a lot darker than what she said. It is, yeah. Yeah, bad stuff happens to the world. Oh, yeah. And you guys will find out soon enough. Yeah. <laughs> only Dollhouse can save it. Uh, exactly. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> what exactly are you guys looking forward to the most? Are there any scenes that you shot that you really enjoyed doing? Right? Yeah. Well, I'm just looking forward to the whole general reaction. Just watching a crowd watch it. Because I think it's really good. Uh, and it'll be really interesting to see people react to it. You know? Especially a large crowd. Because I guess we got the big ballroom, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think it's really good. I think it's the best episode of the first season. You know? So I think people will be really excited. And, uh, you know, I don't want to give anything away, so maybe, you know, we'll talk afterwards about it. <laughs> we'll wait and see. Thank yeah. you very much, and you're yeah. at comicsonline.com. Hey, Thank thanks a lot. Nice to Thank you. you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, hey. So, I'm Emily Savage. I'm with Wired.com. Hey, how's it going? Hi, I love your dress. Oh, nice thank you. Very cool. comfortable. Uh, yeah, well, the whole ensemble. Very nice. Um, so, okay, tell me about, uh, you're the programmer. Mm -hmm. So tell me about, you know, your character and Topher? Yeah. Topher, my character Topher. Yeah, he's the programmer. He programs the dolls and uh, creates the imprints, the personalities. And, uh, you know, he's a bit of a computer genius, uh, unlike myself, uh, unfortunately. So when I. Ah, uh, not quite. No, definitely not. <laughs> Nothing like him. <clears throat> anyway. Yeah, but that's what I—that's what I play. Yeah. So he's—he's—he's he's, he's got a bit of a god complex, I think. You know. But. Uh, as time goes on, you find that he's got sort of uh, you know, more more to him than just that. That he's not maybe as amoral as he kind of comes across. So that's, it'll be interesting. It'll be more fun to play. Uh, give him some sort of a little more depth than the kind of you know punk arrogant kid that he sort of appears to be at first. Um, so I, I'm just wondering, um, uh, you know, the attic. So um, you know, we're gonna are we gonna ever see in the attic? I mean, you guys are starting to shoot the. I hope so. Yeah. I, mean, they, they I haven't seen it. Too much. I haven't seen it though, have you? No. I haven't seen they the attic. Yet to build no. It, yeah. There might be a, a set, the attic set, but I haven't seen it yet. But I feel like if I'd seen it, that'd be a bad thing because, you know, I guess people don't come back from the attic, right? Right. Well, no. I haven't yet. seen anyone. Yeah, that's right. Not yet. Not yet. Jeez. Yeah. So yeah. Maybe some, you know, there, maybe there might be some new <laughs> characters that are revealed coming out of the attic. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I, no, I, I, that was, that, no, Alpha. Okay. Yeah, Alpha's going on. Uh, yeah. No, that uh, well, we sent Dominic to the attic, so I guess he he could possibly come back, and he'd be angry. He did come back in, in Victor's body, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Teddy, Teddy, uh, see it. Uh, oh yeah, Mike. Mike. Mike went to the attic. I mean, there's a lot to do. There's a lot that they can do. I think the concept, you know, I think we started executing it right towards this latter half of the, the season, and uh, I think the show got much better, and I feel like there's so many different places it can go, and you know what I mean? The possibilities are really endless. Uh, so, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to see what they come up with, you know, because getting a script, it's like it's like Christmas, you know? You just have no idea what they're going to come up with next, you know what I mean? But so, it's been really exciting. Do you think the next season you're going to sort of explore the origins more of, of everything or uh, yeah I guess so like I said you know that uh, cuts forward to the future you know later on and uh, at least in episode 13 and, and uh, episode one of season two at least uh, sort of shows the uh, bits and pieces of that world so we certainly look ahead you know what I mean 
Um, and I guess there's some flashbacks from before when the show takes place, like in 13. I think they're going to show a scene uh, uh, my first day of work or my job interview. <laughs> so that's kind of sweet. Uh, so yeah, man, I, like I said, the possibilities are endless. And I know that, you know, uh, I've, I've heard stuff about even just showing more of Caroline, you know, uh, Eliza's character, the, 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 you know, the real girl before she became Echo. So that's something they could explore. So I feel like, you know, we got, we got lots of things. So, Fortunately, I'm in the dark, you know. I wish I knew. I wish I knew it was going to happen. Um, and do you think there's another, is there another company maybe coming up that might be uh, in competition with? Dollhouse? With, like, Rossum? Because I guess Rossum is a larger corporation. I think there's more than one dollhouse, which is kind of cool to me, you know. I think there's, like, one in D.C. I think there's a few all over the world. Yeah, we really don't know where they're going to go. <laughs> right. And I'd love to see some other dollhouses, like, what the, what the design is like, you know. It's probably but, like McDonald's. It's same wherever. <laughs> right. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. All right, I just got the wrap too. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Okay. Hey, but I didn't even